What's up, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea, man, back again on the O'Shea Vlogcast channel, man. Sorry about the wait, but I'm back on this thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's in the live stream. Uh, but I got my boy, man, Big Duke, man, uh, and he's going to drop some knowledge. He has a company called 24 Boot, uh, Team 24 Bootcamp.com. All right, Team 24 BC. And basically, we wanted to, you know, basically, I'm going to be working with him and some other brothers talking about the importance of, you know, black male fitness. So basically, this show is called Fitness uh, for, fitness with a Common Sense Approach. So I'm going to let my man, Big Duke, introduce himself. What's up, brother? What's going on, people? What's going on, chat room? All right. Thanks for coming on, my man. I appreciate you for being on here. Just tell people a little bit about yourself, man, as far as, you know, what you have for the fitness background and things like that. Right. Hey, well, my journey started, man, back when I was a little kid. Um, I got a video up on my uh, site, on my YouTube site, about how it all started. Like, you know I mean, what got me inspired to do this? Um, my two brothers, man, my two twin brothers, you know what I'm saying? Watching them as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Following their journey. And then I wanted to pursue, pursue that. So I just followed suit, you know what I'm saying? So um, just looking at them. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and always in mind, the old magazines or the, the muscle magazines, you dig? Right. You know what I'm saying? Watching them kids work out and all that good stuff. So I wanted to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I was inspired by that. Okay, okay. Now, did you did you play any sports in high school or anything like that? Or <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, I played football and basketball. Um, the classic sports. I uh, got a scholarship to, uh, to go to uh, University of Hawaii. Basketball scholarship. And then from there, I went to overseas in China and Brazil, you know what I'm saying, play ball over there as well. But my journey took a detour, uh, you know what I'm saying, a little short detour because I was shot, man. I got shot up like four times with a 45. Damn. And, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's one thing I want to talk about today is like overcoming the obstacles. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I got shot up. And from there, I didn't see an end. I didn't see like, okay, that's the end of it. You know what I mean? To me, that motivated me more. To keep going, to keep striving for that perfection, you know what I'm saying? That I'm looking for. So I actually played ball overseas after I was laced up. Wow. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so let, me, let me let me ask you this: when you before you got before you got shot, man, and uh and everything like that, and I'm gonna get your channel out here in the um in the link. Like how much right. how much strength? I mean, before that, was you lifting weights hardcore before you got shot? Yeah, and that's one thing I tell the kids now that I train. I do a lot of pro bono stuff. And I tell kids now, they always come in and say, Duke, I want to work out. And they're like 14. They want to pick up that iron. I say, no, no, no. Right now, we need to work with your body. You know what I mean? Work with your body weight. Do a lot of calisthenics, a lot of plyometrics. Let's work with you first and get the fundamentals down before you go and pick up that iron. Something that I did, like when I was younger. I always wanted to be like with my brothers, picking up that iron and stuff like that. So I'm six, seven, six, seven and a half. I was projected to be six, nine. Okay. But you know, picking up the iron as a youth, then it kind of like slowed down my growth. So yeah, I would oh, recommend like yeah. Okay, okay, I hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's done. Okay, so how how were you when you first started lifting weights? Then shit, man, about 14, 15. Fought hard too, like hard. You know what I'm saying? Watching like uh, I saw my video. I used to watch my brothers like they used to work out to Eric Beat. Again, I said in my, uh, my video there was no sec. There was no reps. They were just working out to the beat. Can you dig it? Like, right. yo, just curling to the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, no set rep count weights. And I was intrigued by that. I was, like, fascinated. I was mesmerized. So I was like, damn. Yo, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So they was like, yeah, you want to come in and lift with us? So I was like, yeah, yeah. So I started with them. Well, let me let me you know? ask you. Are, you. are you from, like, originally, like, from the East Coast? or? Well, no, nah, man. Let me, let me tell you my background, man. First thing first, shout out to my man, Brian Dawkins. Shout out to my man, P.J. Tucker. Shout out to my man, Lil Duval. I'm from Duval. You know what I'm saying? Duval, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, okay. <laughs> Straight Duval, dirty Duval. Okay. They know. Everybody know in the chat room. They know what it is. Yeah, yeah. We know about Duval. <laughs> they know. They um, know. Well, let me ask you this, because you're a trainer, bro. How long have you actually been training people? Hmm. Man, you talking about maybe 15, 16 years. Okay, okay. 15, 16 years in the game. I want to train everybody from, I know my man Stackhouse, um, uh, Antoine Jameson, Vince Carter, The Undertaker, Ray Mysterio, again, P.J. Tucker, 
I mean, everybody from from people. I got I got a client now. I actually always share as my best client. He got a, a lot of neurological muscular issues. OK, and that's my best client, man, because I watched that guy work out so hard and he pushed himself so hard. And that's my favorite client. That's my best client. OK, let me let me ask you this, because, you know, when I talk to you on the phone, you said mm -hmm. a lot of times people make this thing too complicated. Uh, that right. it needs to be, and they don't have a common sense approach. Could you explain what that means, especially for black right. men? You know, uh, uh, they want to get back in shape. What well, what are we missing? Here? Well, well, one thing is I found out, man, just like over the years, is that a lot of people, it's hard for people to take a moment and transcend a moment to a movement. Okay. What I mean by that is at the water cooler, right? You're talking, you know, what I'm saying you're talking about, I want to do this, I want to do that, or I need to do this, and I need to do that. Does it? It doesn't transcend to actually action you know what i'm saying it's all word it's all verbiage mm -hmm. it's all just talk because you're at the water cooler you're at lunch but when you get home it's like yo baby what you want to eat okay oh no fuck it order some popeyes order boy james <laughs> you know what i mean right you know what i mean, right, you know what I mean? Right, right. so that's that's i see that a lot and a lot of times people don't understand they don't understand the fact that you got to be consistent mm -hmm. the first change that anybody i would tell this to anybody me myself you the first, the first uh, change you got to make is in the mind. Mm -hmm. You got to change your mindset. Your mindset got to be totally changed to get any progress. Mm -hmm. If your mindset not train, it's not changed. I can't train you. I can't train motivation. I can't train your heart. Now that's interesting. Say that again, man, for people out there that <laughs> listen to this. Say that one. Real, man. I, I'm serious. I can't train motivation. I can't train your heart. If you don't have the motivation and the heart to do it, you wasting your money and my time. Okay. You know, so I tell people all the time, I tell people, listen, if you're not ready to make a lifestyle change, okay. save your money, put it in your pocket, then come to me when you're ready. And actually, I get more clients that way because I'm honest with them. Okay. Instead of just taking their money saying, when I was when I was younger, yeah, 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 I can do this. I can do that. I, I, I. But I, now nah, I change my verbiage and sit there and say, start saying we, because this is a joint effort. Right. But I don't live with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. When you walk out of the, door, the doors. I go one direction, you go the other direction. Right. You know, the choice is yours. You got to apply the information given. So again, it's a common sense type of knowledge, but at the same time, you both know, shit, common sense is not so common. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. that's true. So let me let me ask you this, like, um, because you know, a lot of people have, um, you know, there's different types of diets out here. There's a keto right. diet. There's all mm -hmm. of these other things. Um. And, and even for me, like some people are like, you know, I know a lot of people in the United States are diab are pre diabetes right. or have diabetes. Now, what what do you suggest for these kind of clients? A lot of brothers is kind of uh, kind of you know dealing with this. Here's an acronym for that, and I said every time, don't steal my shit. or say I'm writing a book. I'm too. not. I'm not. I, I don't want to <laughs> trust me. I'm cool. Chat room, don't steal my shit. Yeah. Diet, you know what I call that? What? You do it every time. Again, diet, you do it every time. What you mean by that, big dude? Every time there's an event, you diet. Every time there's some a function come up, you diet. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's not something that's consistent. Every time something come up, people want to diet for that event. They want to sit there and say, oh, I want to do a crash diet, the keto diet, the paleo diet, whatever it is. So I recommend just making healthy nutrition choices. Mm -hmm. um, just be consistent with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to get into the minutia of what the, the Plato diet is, the keto diet is, and all this stuff. Because to be honest with you, and when it, when they get down to the, uh, the the root of the situation, mm -hmm. all of them work. All of them work. Okay. You just got to be mindful of what you eat when you're eating it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just got to be mindful of your, your nutritional choices. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> that's not to say, don't get my words, Mr. Shrew, and think that, oh, damn, big dude, so I can eat what I want. Now, you go to McDonald's and get your damn double-double or a Burger King and two for six, then you know, shit, you know, that's your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. You put a you put a whole lot of garbage in your system. Right. You do got to make healthy choices. Right. But at the same time, I won't tell. I, won't, I tell a lot of my clients. Listen, don't try to cold turkey something. Okay. Because it's it's very hard to do. I've seen I've seen few people do it. I've seen some, but I've seen few people like cold turkey, like just cut out everything and just go on the straight and narrow. Very few. So again, diet. You do it every time. Stop waiting for that wedding to come up, that reunion to come up, that event to come up to sit there saying, I'm a diet. 
Make it a lifestyle change. Make it lifestyle choices. Let me let me ask you this, man, because like even for me, um, I cut out a lot of stuff, but I still have a little problem with a little with some of the carbs and right and the spaghetti before we get on this thing. But right. uh, you know, those small incremental changes that are so difficult. Um, right. Here, here's you, a, yeah, go ahead. Here, here's the, here's the thing: carbs are the great boogeyman. Mm -hmm. Carbs is the boogeyman of fitness, but carbs are only bad when you do the wrong type, the wrong amount, and at the wrong time. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So that's the that's the boogeyman. You need carbs. Your body needs carbs, but if you're doing the wrong type of carbs, mm -hmm. like if you're doing, like take the spaghetti, the yeah. pasta you use, mm -hmm. is it wheat or is it white? Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So the sugar. You know what I mean? Sugar is sugar across the board. White mm -hmm. sugar. Trivia, it's Splendor, all that shit. Hawaiian, it's sugar. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you start getting into that. And then, but at the same time, now when you finish a workout, you need to replenish your body. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's not that whole range or I got to get this in between. Now, that's the old myth. I got to get this in. I got to get my, my protein in in, in, the, in that window. Uh, 20 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute window. That's the myth. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do something, but at the same time, no, carbs is, is the great boogeyman of fitness, of, of anything. I can't do carbs. Your body needs carbs. Right. You need carbs. That's your free, uh, uh, fuel for energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people talk about no carbs. And I noticed, like, I mean, you know, being in medical school and stuff and knowing what, how carbohydrates work, I also noticed, too, man, when you go to the gym, you don't have no carbohydrates, man. It's almost, right. you don't right. get that push, man. It's, right. You be feeling it, like, ah. Uh... Well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, and one more thing. Now, if, you're, if your position, if your job requires you to be sedentary, if you're just sitting at a desk all day, I would sit there and say, try to do less cars because you got to think you're not active. You're not up. You're not moving around. So, again, what's going to happen is that's, those carbs are going to turn to BF. It's going to turn to body fat. Now, at the gym, you're right. You need those type of cars. And I'm, I'm going to tie this all together. I'm going to transcend to something else. Okay. You need those cars to get that workout in. But... A lot of times, especially kids and males, mostly males, mm -hmm. they do um, they want to do a thermogenic, that pre-workout supplement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all it is is the like I said, from a common sense approach, okay. Just just go ahead and drink two cups of coffee. There you go. Okay. That's what that's what your GNC, your lucky vitamins, your vitamin shops it is. That's what it is. This is with a with a nice name on it. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want a good Workout, a pre-workout, you want that energy, mm -hmm. do it more natural. Do honey and cinnamon. So I'm saying do honey and cinnamon. Now you got great energy, okay, from the from the honey, and then you're fighting a good power and arsenic from the cinnamon. That's okay. a great remedy to sit there and take that. Now you got energy to go in the gym and do your workout and get it out of there. But okay. you know, GNC, they make millions of dollars on coming in here. Come on, you need this pre-workout. No, you don't need that shit. It'll, it'll explode. We'll have you explode shit. in the bathroom. Man. I know that for a fact. <laughs> Motherfucker, have your heart jumping out your chest. And <laughs> you, yeah. you be all jittery and all shit. Yeah. All Motherfucker, and had it. yeah, nigga be having the shakes and shit. <laughs> Motherfucker be running there shaking like Pookie and um, New Drop. <laughs> <laughs> and I was yeah, seeing it, man. Right. Dude, oh, I don't man. see him, man. I oh, see it. I man. see it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Be dragging, sipping that stuff. You know, but right. and then again too. Let me let me I, I retract that. Let me retract this. Let me go hey, back go a little bit. Go ahead, brother. I would say this for anybody who's starting out. If you just starting out, then I would sit there and say, don't even do supplements right now, because your body is not seasoned enough to actually do supplements. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Try to get it more through natural foods. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> Try to go from a more natural approach than going about supplements. Because people get supplements, they don't even understand what supplements are. They're supposed to supplement what you do naturally. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So Not sometimes, yeah. right. But people put them at the forefront and say, cool, let me start, let me, what supplements I need? Oh, I want to gain weight. Uh, what protein I need? Okay. Or oh, oh, what, what thermogen, what, what uh, uh, post-workout I need? Mm -hmm. No, you're not even seasoned yet. You don't even got a year up under your belt and you're talking about doing a supplement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't even got six months up under your belt, right. and you talking about doing a supplement. Right. Get your body seasoned. Work out more. Eat natural foods. Bake your chicken. Grill your chicken. Right. See what I'm saying? Stay away from the starches and stuff like that. May help decisions. Decisions. 
right right let me let me do this and guys do me a favor man subscribe to my brother big duke's channel man uh let me see i'll put got... content up in a minute <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna get him up there man you can see that the brother's knowledgeable man he gonna he gonna i think he gonna he gonna be, be, be all right over here man and in, in, in oh yeah so make sure you guys subscribe to him i see we got some ladies in here you got some new lady fans oh he can get a one girl said he could get a one-on-one -on -one with me any day uh, <laughs> i want to do a big duke <laughs> <laughs> You guys, make sure you deal. subscribe and hit the bell on, on my brother's channel, man, so we know that uh that you subscribe, man. I want I wanna uh we're gonna promote promote pro this channel. So uh Good let look. me let me let me uh shout out to Lucky Lefty for the super chat and shout out to Mr. Grandeur for the brothers that smash big chicks like me. All right, let me ask you that, right? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um a lot of brothers work a lot of uh, a lot of hours, uh right. things like that. You know, you got I got a big trucker community, shout out to the truckers. Nice. Um, so you know, some people they have you know they're on the road or Got you know it. they have. What what do you suggest for people okay. who are like that and um, okay, they can't go to stationary Got gym it. all the time and stuff like this. No problem. Then um, what I do is um, first thing first, I like that with the truckers and stuff like that. Shout out to the truckers out there, man. You guys put in mad ass hours, man. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. Um, for the truckers, I would sit there and say this: truck stops. Are your worst enemy. So in other words, go ahead on and and and, and pre-make your meals. You know what I'm saying? Pre-make your meals. Shoot, uh, do me a favor, oh, oh, stay at the end of this. Give me an email. I can tell them what to do to have their meals already preset, okay. so they can have more energy on the road and not get so that that whole that comatose state, like that whole carb, and then they be all drowsy and shit on the road. I can tell them exactly what to do, what to make right on the road. As far as workout wise, mm -hmm. push ups and body squats are your best friend. Okay. Push ups and body squats are your best friend. Okay. Get those push ups in, body squats in, good calisthenics. That's your best friend right there. Okay. okay. And, I, and also, what I do as a bonus for them, I give them a program, a calisthenic program that they can do on the road. So, shout out to you guys, man. My brother in law was a trucker. He passed this past, past September. So, big shout out to you truckers out there. I got right. you. That's on me. Right, 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 right. We definitely love the truckers, man. So that's the. Uh, I'm gonna also put his email. His email is team twenty four bc at yahoo. What do? So, All right. Uh, um. Let, let me let me also talk about you know, uh, people because a lot of people in America. And I know you probably know this already. Mm -hmm. So big either pre diabetes people or right. people suffering from type two diabetes. Now, do right. you get a lot of clients that come to you and say I'm suffering with this situation? I do. But then again, too, I don't um, because um, I, I, I really don't because I, a lot of times when they come to me and I'm, I'm a little bit different than I tell a lot of trainers because I go through a channel. You just can't come to me and, and do a money transfer and then let's say let's go and train. It's a whole process. I do a whole body analysis on you. I find out well, or what do I have any postural distortions. Um, I check out from transverse abdominis. I check out from thoracic extension. I check out a whole nine. I do a whole body analysis on you. And then I do a, a part two on you to find out, do you have any illnesses or, or injuries and stuff like that? If so, then I, I tell them to link up with their doctor, find out what they can and cannot do. And a lot of times, once they go through that process, a lot of them sit there and be like, you know, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to just wait. And, this and, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them, when they have to go through that, they're not ready. They're not ready. So I like to sit there and give my clients kind of like a handbook. Let me tell you this real, real quick. I had, a, I had a friend of mine. I had gave him that a whole handbook on the house about, I mean, like water, the water intake, a whole handbook, good fats, bad fats, everything. And he told another friend that he that I know about said, man, yeah, man, Duke, he give me all this shit, man. Like, you know, I got to read all this stuff here. And my friend was like, hey, dude, I want it. I said, but you know what's funny about that? Is that when you go on any job, what's the first thing they give you? It's a handbook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The first thing they give you is a handbook. They want you to read all the material in there to make sure that you don't sit there and do something that's against their rules and policy and, and rules and regulations, right? Right, right? And that's what I did to him. And he didn't want to take the time to read the information that I gave him. Instead, he looked at it like I'm giving him too much information. Right, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so was he, was he one? Of, was he one of us? Yeah, yeah, you one. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, yeah, you know that name. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He was. You know how. You know how we yeah. do, brother. So, uh, unfortunately, he was, man. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to bring it home a little closer. Unfortunately, he was my cousin. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. man. That's, that's I'm going to call a right. spade a spade, man. He was my cousin. Right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. But let me, let, me, let, me, let me also ask you this. Um, you yep. know, so you, usually the hardest part is um, – now, a lot of people like, like, like myself um, – what about I know like as far as cardio because that's that's a big problem, brother. I know me, man. I'm like, oh man, cardio today. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see you walking around right now. Like, how how much is walking it's, helps? And, oh and man, let's, let's talk about that walking and cardio and stuff like that. I'm old school, man. I'm I'm cut between, and your fitness community know this. I'm cut between C T Fletcher and Paul Check. If you don't know Paul Check, Google Paul Check. Very informative guy. I'm a hybrid between the two of those guys, but for me. I'm old school iron ass whooping. I'm iron. But you see me walking, that's because of this shit. But I like to get my cardio within my workout. And I like to swim. Yeah, black man can swim. So I like to swim as well. You know, they say black man can't swim and shit, right? So mm -hmm. I'm an avid swimmer and I'm an avid cyclist. I like to cycle as well. I got my road bike and I do it that way. But um, you need cardio. You do need it. It is a part of... Um, your production, it is a part of your success. Um, the three elements of success is nutrition, cardio, and resistance training. Mm -hmm. I would sit there and tell somebody <clears throat> who's just starting out, if you walk in, if that's all you can do, walk for production. What do you mean by that, Big Duke? So in other words, I see a lot of people walking around the track and then they just walking. They just walking. They don't have any purpose. They don't have any purpose. They don't have any type of motivation. They just walking. You might as well go home, watch TV. So here's the thing. Walk for a purpose. Go to the store, grab your little stopwatch, mm -hmm. and time yourself. If you're going to walk four laps, that's the one mile. If you're going to walk four laps, time yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, document that time. The next day, it doesn't matter if you beat that by one second. That's production. The next day after that, try to beat it by two seconds. That's production. So walk for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? And also, I tell a lot of people... Uh, when they get home and, and, oh, I don't have time to work out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just beat down. I'm tired. But you have time to watch shows. Okay, right. let's play the game. Right. Let's play the game. A 30-minute program is about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten of those minutes are commercials. If you take those 10 minutes to do stand-up, to do some body squats, to do some push-ups, and a 30-minute show, now you got a 10-minute workout in. Go ahead and put an hour on the clock, okay? If you watch two shows, okay? So that's what? 30 minutes and 30 minutes. So that's what? 20 minutes, 40 minutes of work of watching the program and 20 minute workout. You see what I'm saying? So now you got a good workout in while you're watching the show. Instead of just sitting there doing the commercials, going to get you something to drink, then take your time, stand up, do some body squats, do some push-ups. And I also want to hit on this too as well. Eastern culture... When I was in China, I learned this a long time ago. <clears throat> Eastern culture, when they eat, they don't drink. A lot of, like, they don't eat, they don't drink, they don't drink liquids. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do is they'll eat, chew their food up, and wait about 10 to 15 minutes, and then they'll go there and have a drink. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what happened is the body has natural enzymes already in it to break down the food. Yes, that's true. Okay? Mm -hmm. And also, when they do drink, it's a small amount, four to six ounces, maybe tea, maybe like uh, maybe like a hot tea or maybe water, because that's going to aid and speed up the digestion process. Mm -hmm. But in the Western culture, what we do is we eat, we drink, we eat, we drink, we eat, we drink. OK, what does cold do? Restricts. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you drink, it's going to slow down the digestion process. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So and that's the big difference. That's why you see a lot of Asians, if you go over there right now, you'll see them in the park doing cha Tai Chi and stuff like that. And they slim. They're small. Even when they're older. You know what I mean? They're small. But what we do here, we big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're the most resourceful country out here, but look how big we are. So I would sit there and tell anybody, when you're eating, take your time. Chew your food up. Wait about 20 minutes. Then go ahead and have a something sip. You'll find out once you do that, you won't even that thirsty at all. Mm, okay. What about even <laughs> even with water? Uh, drinking water is that still bad while you're eating? Or um, it's still the same thing. If you think about it, okay, 
what do uh, uh, Ice do? Like, you go into the pole cap. Ice move it real slow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and fire move fast, right? Mm-hmm. So if you trans, you take those words, ice, water, you take ice water, it's going to slow down your digestion process. Mm-hmm. So even if you take the time to do that, you can, but at the same time, it's still going to slow down your digestion process. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Chew your food up. You won't even have to, uh, you won't even think about like uh, 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 drinking and stuff like that in the water. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to say this <clears throat> about water okay. and coffee. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate about this shit. When you wake up in the morning, drink water. Drink water, not juice, not your orange juice, not your coffee. Drink H2O. Okay. Okay. You will have a better sense of awareness as soon as you wake up drinking water and you won't go better, lemon water, okay, mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. coffee, mm-hmm. okay? Try it if you don't believe me. Try it if you don't believe me. So I, I guarantee you, you have a better sense of awareness than your coffee, even if it's straight black coffee, or your tea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I want to say this, I'm going to say this right here to you. Going back to when I got shot up, overcoming obstacles, guys, you can do this. Mm-hmm. Anybody can do this. Real quick, I can recall, like, my father passed, my mother passed, both for cancer. My brothers was, like, the big, I mean, the big fish. I, I looked at them as, like, gods. You know what I'm saying? They was gods to me. Real shit. I had told my brother, I said, hey, Jim, I got a chance to go overseas to China to play ball. Mm-hmm. And they, they, so, they don't have any emotion to them. So they simply told me, this one thing, what Jimmy did, he told me one thing. He said, boy, Bill, go over there and show him what you got. That's it. I took that right there, that phrase, show him what you got. Public Enemy got a song called Show Him What You Got. If you don't believe me, go ahead and YouTube. It's about two minutes long. Maybe not even that long. Maybe a, maybe a minute and 55 seconds. I shit you not, I played that one song from Duval to China. Wow. That's all I played. That's all I played. That one song back then, you had the CDs, the compact disc. Right. I played that one song because I, I looked up to them so much. And that's all the motivational words I got was, boy, you better go over there and show them what you got. That was it. That was it. So I played that one song on a 15 to 16 hour flight. Damn. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Streamers Road, Southern Truth by the Multitude. Show them what you got. Show them, show them, show them what you got. That was it. <laughs> Funny story, man. Man, that's that's crazy. You you had that that's thing it. on. Uh, I used to do that for the little interludes back on the uh, 112 yeah. album. When I was like, oh, it's yeah. interlude. Put it on repeat. Put it on repeat, yeah. Put it on repeat. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hold on, let yeah. me uh, shout out to Miss My Isis Coder. This stream deserves more views. Great info, y'all, brother. Y'all get y'all brother about these right, brothers. Guys, do me a favor and subscribe to the brother, man. Uh, let me go ahead on and uh get get my brother's channel in here. Um, yeah. he gonna have some he gonna have some content, man. He getting he gonna get into the YouTube game. He gonna yeah. get some content up here. I put stuff up there now, man, to put on my site, man. I'm not like I, I need to put I need to do it some more though, and that's my fault. I own that, but I put stuff up there now just to throw it on my website and um. You know, just send it to my clients and stuff like that. But I need to put more content up there. I will. I will. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's a huge space, man. I'm pretty sure you do pretty good over here. And guys, yeah. uh, uh, his uh, information is at twenty four www dot team twenty four bootcamp dot com. Let me talk about this, right? Because I, I, I mean, yep. I know a lot of brothers, man. In the manosphere, we we should talk about fitness a lot more than we do, and I think that's we partially do. my fault. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I brought in like the dating coach guys, and then we talk a lot about the business. Right. But we don't talk about a lot of brothers kind of like are some of them are into fitness already, so we don't really speak about it. Like you know, right, George right. making the other brothers like that. Yeah, but I see George of, getting in. Yeah, yeah, George, George, man. Yeah, George, he got a he got a Jerry curl, but he besides that, <laughs> he's all right, man. But let's yeah. talk about this, man. Um, a lot of brothers really probably want to get into the gym. Another reason is they want to be more attractive. Mm. Women, how how does this fitness piece man help you with your confidence with the ladies, brother? Oh, big time, man! It is it will. I mean, if you're doing it for that reason, though, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Because 
it's insubstantial, meaning that it's, it's if that's the only reason you're doing it for, uh, not saying you can't do it, but you can. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have plenty of success coming out of the, uh, coming out of there, man. And like a lot of times, I wear my headphones because in the grocery store, because I don't want to hear, oh my God, who you play for? Oh my God, this and another, all that. I mean, frivolous talk. Oh, this and another. It does help. It does. Um, but again, if you're doing it for that, uh, uh, solely for that reason only, then I would sit there and say, don't do it. Okay. Because it, it, it should be you doing it for self, self improvement, longevity, been around for your family, your kids, and stuff like that. Right. That's what it should be for. But I'm not saying you can do it. No, I ain't right. knocking it. No. Right, right. Mm -mm. Do, do you actually have clients that, that come in and say that? Man, dude, I get hit on all the time by my clients, man. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm talking about the the, 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 uh, the, the, the guys. Like, they ever say, like, uh, yo, man, that's yeah. what I'm trying to get in shape because I want to, you know, my, my girl with left you. me, you know, and yeah. I fell off and all that other stuff. Be honest with you, Oshie, I'm going to be honest with you. I get a lot of, I'm going to tell you this, man, it's sad, but I get a lot of uh, black clients, my black clients that come in, Yeah. like, they be overweight. Okay. But they say that their boyfriend or their husband don't want them to lose Watch this. Don't I don't want to get too too uh, uh slim. I don't want to lose my hip. I don't want to lose this and other. So I'm saying, in other words, your buddy, your your boyfriend like the additional body fat. I'm not saying the body fat that you need, but the additional body fat. So in other words, he like you to be borderline unhealthy. Right. So you know what I'm saying? So in a couple of years, I can collect on your ass. <laughs> oh right, right. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So right. and it's crazy because I sit there. The first thing I tell my clients is, um, "Do you have a team? Do you have a supporting cast?" And you know, sometimes it's come in and say, "Yeah, yeah, I do." And they sit there and say, "Their husband or their boyfriend," which is good. And I say, "Okay, cool." So now, me, your boyfriend, and anybody else that's going to support you on your quest to get in better shape—that's what we're here for. Text, call me anytime. That's what I'm here for. But a lot of times, to no avail. That the boyfriend, when they go out, especially Friday, oh, come on, you can eat this. Oh, I don't want to hear that. You can eat that shit. I don't want to hear all that fitness stuff, this, that, and other. And I get that a lot. When she's trying to do something and change for the better, he's sitting there like, nah, fuck that. I don't want my girlfriend to be all slim and stuff like that. And not saying you got to be slim. But again, it's the additional body fat that they don't want him to lose. When she's trying to do something positive. You know, let me. I want to. I want to deal with that. Do you think that? Um, because a lot of black men are always complaining about black. Uh, black women are too. Uh, too. Too. Too big. Do you think that brothers are intimidated by in shape fit women? Yeah. They are. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Why do you say that? I, I think so. I, I. I think so because one thing because they don't want to do it. Shit. <laughs> they. They don't want to do it. I mean, they. They looking at that females like. She's too muscular. Now, granted, I don't like a muscular motherfucker either. Now, you can't be too muscular coming in the door. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody looking harder than me and, you know what I'm saying? Right. Trying to outlift me. Nah, 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 nah. But a lot of brothers, um, they, they do. They feel intimidated because it's a threat. Because one, when they go out, they're going to get all the looks. And that brother's sitting there is like, damn, what about me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You know what I mean? Yo, what about me? I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? And she's right here, standing in shape, got the same drive that he does, got the same position, working the same hours, doing the same shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he will find an excuse to stay home, and she'll find an excuse to go to the gym. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do. I do. I do think that he feel intimidated by that. You know? But let me ask you something, brother. Like, uh, like yeah. okay, like, you have brothers, like, they used to be like kind of in the gym, like like me back in the day, uh, and right, then you right. kind of fall off, right? Right, right, right. Then you try to get back. Now, what about guys who used to be in pretty good shape fall off? Right. And uh, they kind of might know the basics of stuff like that, but they hire you for motivation. Now, do you think those clients are actually the easiest to get back into shape? Guys who was there before, and you know something happened, and they just got depressed and fell off, and now they want to well, come back. It's one of the things, I, and then a lot of times I share what I try to do as a trainer is that I try to re, I try to relate to my client. So if one of them had a knee surgery, fuck, I had five knee surgeries. One had a shoulder surgery, hell, I got a right shoulder surgery. I had an elbow surgery. I had a minor back surgery. Um, I had my fingers broke. <laughs> I've been shot four times. 
So I try to share something that they can link with and they can sit there and be like, damn, you know, he did it. I can do it. Um, right. It's the same thing. Like, it's easy to sit there and, and fall on excuses. You know what I mean? It's easy to fall on the sharp edge sort of uh, uh, excuses because they're right there for you. They're waiting for you. But then again, too, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? What you going right. to do about it? Right. You no. Know, um, so it to, to and then again, too, I tell everybody, you know, you know, the old adage, go. Uh, the old, the old saying, a goal without a plan is wishing. So I would sit there and say, if you was out of the game and you try to get back in the game, have a goal, have a goal. You know what I'm saying? Have something that you want to reach for. You know what I'm saying? Because you just come in the gym, cranking up weights and throwing up weights in four months. You can't even chart your progress. You're going off memory. You're going to forget. You see what I'm saying? So document your progress. Have a goal. I want to be X weight at Y date. You see what I'm saying? So, and then again, too, I tell a lot of my clients, especially females, when they tell me what weight they want to be, <clears throat> put it on your refrigerator in red ink. So now you're going to make that conscious decision when you go in and, and, and want those, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, you know what I'm saying, those fries that left over Bojangles or those Popeye's biscuits or some shit. <laughs> you know, he said Bojangles. You know, Bojangles, yeah, that's what's it, man. Bojangles, you gonna sit there and nah, I can't eat this. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, 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 right. You gotta have a goal. You gotta have some type of goal, something to measure it by. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have something. It's, it's the, the easy way to think about it is this right here. Okay, let's, let's take you, O'Shea. All right, you and your class, you studying to be a pediatrician, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Correct. Uh, 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 well, doctor of medicine, and then you specialize. Doctor? So I want to be okay. a family doctor, like a GP. Great. All right, cool. Same, same you sitting same in class. Story, so. Go ahead. Okay. You sitting in class. Your professor tell you, "Oh, shit, I need that report done by Friday, next Friday, and it's Monday." Okay. Mm -hmm. You walk in there next Friday and say, "Uh, Professor Jenkins, <laughs> right? Pull up, pull up a chair. Let me tell you about this report." You see what I'm saying? That's unacceptable, right? Yeah, she wants right. something. The measure she either want a hard copy mm -hmm. or a digital copy or that report that she asked for, right? It's true. Same thing when it comes to working out. You gotta document your progress so you can see your progress. Mm -hmm. So in January the first, I was I was lifting I don't know 50 pounds. And in April the second, now I'm up to 75 pounds. You chart your progress. And when you chart your progress, you're going to see progress. Then what's going to happen is it's going to change your nut nutritional structure. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because you can't eat the same foods at January 1st back in now in April. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you got to have measurable goals. You got to sit there and have something that you're measuring it by. Mm -hmm. You know? No, that's, that's, you gave me some, uh, you motivated me. A uh, taboo smash. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, how much time a skinny guy can be more muscular? Uh, I mean, that's a pretty intense question, but yeah. <laughs> nah, he good. Um, cause I was that skinny guy. To be honest with you, shit. I mean, I was like twelve. Um, one, one thing about a skinny guy, his metabolism is sky high. His metabolism is is good and high. I've got a couple of kids now training. Their metabolism is real high. So, um, with your metabolism being that high, you got to bring in good solid proteins, good solid carbs. Work out, you know what I'm saying? Not the now you can't be you gotta be mindful of the junk food. You know what I'm saying? You gotta bring in good food because you'll start to gain weight, but it'll be bad weight and it's gonna show on your waistline. So then you'll be what they call like that skinny fat. So you'll gain weight and then it'll be around like your waistline. So if you bring in uh, um good carbs, your good proteins over about six months, then you'll start seeing a progressive weight gain. You'll start seeing little subtle changes around your arms, the smaller muscles first, the biceps, the shoulders, the triceps, then come the chest. Don't just sit there and hit those chests. And one thing black men got to stop doing, stop hitting chest. Stop hitting arms. Work on those legs. <laughs> That's one thing that I want to do as a black man. I want to be have nice legs. I get it all the time. Tony, I'll use some type of Polynesian. I'll use some more or some shit because I got big legs through my height. And black men, all we want to do is chest and biceps. Right. <laughs> chest and biceps. Niggas will never hit no squats or no leg press. You'll never find niggas, niggas really squatting. No, never. Niggas, I, had, I, had a motherfucker, I had a nigga tell me, this nigga was like 45 years old, 46 years old. He told me, 
Yeah, man, I can't do legs, man. I had my knee scoped when I was back in high school. I said, nigga, high school? Man, you 40-something years old. You had your knee scoped. Big bullshit. Motherfucker, hey, nigga, look at that. He like that duck that be on Looney Tunes, that big-ass duck that be beating up on you. You know, just like that motherfucker, man. Shit you not, man. Real-looking uh, motherfucker. Yeah. Real, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nigga, man. man. He said, like, I'm just like a nigga, too. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Oh, my you God. Like man, that sounds just, sound just like a nigga, too. I, I, got a, oh, I got a group, man. man. I got a group that I train with here. Yeah. And um, I got a video up. I call it Go Solo. That's what inspired me to do it. It's, it's on my website. It's called Go Solo. Mm-hmm. And the reason I made it, my boys, every time I tell them we're going to do legs, they back out. Mm-hmm. They back out. This time is leg day. I'm going to back out. Back out. I go with my white boys, my white boy. Yeah, let's get some legs in. Let's do some legs, stuff like that. They, they be eager to do legs. Black yeah. guy ain't doing no damn legs. Here they work on legs. <laughs> Here they work on legs and them calf muscles. Oh, yeah, calf right. muscles. Like right. two guys there. Damn legs, they'll be looking like midget crutches. Right. They got to call, <laughs> call them two of your legs. Yeah, they had them school yeah. legs. Yeah. Shit's crazy, man. No, that's 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 real. Uh, I'm serious. But let me just do this. We got 147 in the chat. That's pretty good for one of these uh, type of shows. We're we going we gonna to sure. start trying to do it uh, more Let's often, it. man. I'm going to get my brother, man. And also, shout out to my man, uh, JSPK Fitness. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. I got to get with you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, uh, my hooky. Uh, Stefan, Clink, Scales, all the guys. George, you know, all the fitness. We're going to gonna, uh, try, try, to, try to bring this community together, man. But who Let's all needs uh, to subscribe to my man? Um, make sure you guys subscribe to him. Right here, yep. uh, uh, here's the video. Here's a here's his uh, channel, and then also you can reach him at www.team24bootcamp.com. All right, yeah, yeah, www.24bootcamp.com. Um, I know you got you got another client coming in a few minutes, right? Well, yeah, I gotta go over here to NC State, man, and do some work over here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you know man, well, I'm not holding too long, but uh, I mean. What are some other things, man, you want to, you know, drop some knowledge on the people about brother and all that stuff? Well, man, I just want to sit there and tell them, man, be consistent, man. I don't care what you do. Be consistent and like, in, in anything you do. When you starting this out, be consistent. Again, set goals. Set your limitations. Don't have short-term goals, you know what I'm saying, going to bring forth long-term goals. Right. So don't sit there and be like, yo, I want to I want to fucking lose 100 pounds in six months. It's not going to happen. We'll right. get into that in part two about about the calories and stuff like that, okay. about how the calories and stuff like that break down in the body and stuff like that. And the next one I want to talk about in detail about, um, I mean, calories equals fat, the monounsaturated fats, the trans fats, the polyunsaturated fats. Mm-hmm. I want to get into all that stuff as well. Okay. All so right, man, well, be consistent. Let me know. Let me know, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to definitely bring him back, man, because I've been telling him he's always on me. All right, O'Shea, you know we got to yeah. do that show. I Security like, check, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, man, I was gonna go to uh, shout out to my, my 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 big bro George making and my big bro Gab talking media. They yeah. in the building. I was gonna actually go back to Africa to handle some business, but you know what? I said, you know what? Let me let me not go today. I want to make sure I take right. care of my brother. And right. Uh, right after this, I got Lanell on the uh, on the Bitcoin thing. So I want to take care of my brothers, man. And That's uh, what's up. I really want to open. I want to be a man of my word, you know, because a lot of times. True. You know, we we we, we say we're gonna do something, we don't do it, and so I right. want to make sure my brother been good to me. He be supporting right. me, be in the chat. So we want right. to help our brothers, man. Uh, my drop dude. this knowledge that they can't come talk to us about it, our own people. Who can yes, they sir. talk to it about it, right? So yes, sir. We want to thank our and, brother and, for coming by. Go ahead, brother. No, uh, now, man, I just want to say this, man. I appreciate your shape for doing this, man. You know, I mean, big shout out to the chat, truckers, man. Link me up. You know, I mean, I tell you what you can do, guys. I got a big, I got a big soft spot in my heart. For truckers, man, because my uh, brother-in-law was like my damn, he was like my older brother. You know what I'm saying? So truckers, it's on me. Send me a link, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, uh, um, and if you need some help as far as like food-wise, what you can do on the road, and workout-wise, link me up. I got you. That's on me. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he said, oh, shit, eat out every day. How many time George out, man? He tell all my goddamn business. I blame George for this shit. Yeah, I, I, I just had to time George ass out, man. You know, with that damn tuxedo looking like 1986 Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. eye, talking about, yeah, Marvin, I'm not going to be able to fight you. Uh, right. Motherfucker anyway. <laughs> oh, like Frank Bruno in that motherfucker. You like Frank yeah, Bruno in that bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah,
<laughs> got that guy. He even stuck up. He got that goddamn parking valet tuxedo on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga can't even drive. Yeah, he can't even drive a stick. He only driving the. Uh, wait a minute, it's a stick. No, I can yeah. only valet the automatics, brother. I, I can't Ooh, drive. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Please, all right, let's get your ass out of here. All right, oh, shit. all right, brother. All right, you you all your new subscribers, man. Hoy, who I need all my people to subscribe to my brother, Big Duke, man. Hold on one second. Go ahead, do that. Do that. Man, everybody subscribe to Big Duke, man, because the brother came over here. He had to come over here. You know, he could have been, you know, doing something else. But go ahead and subscribe to him, man. He got, he got, he got, he got the funnies and shit. And we're gonna try to really start building this fitness content. My brother, yeah. JSDK. Shout yes, out sir. to him. He now writing on the Negro Ministry. If if any of you guys. Are on uh thank you, George Rogers or seven. If any of you guys follow the Negro Metals for Instagram, that's actually us uh, actually um JSPK running uh the 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 Instagram page. So uh, we're gonna uh if you got time like tomorrow or Sunday or something like that, Let's I'll try it. to bring everybody together and oh, yeah, that's what's up. You know, we'll, 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 we'll rock it like that and um let's do it. And, 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 it's anything, nice. else, anything else you want to say, brother, before we get about it? I'm good. I'm good, old shit, man. I appreciate the time, man. And thanks, chat room. All right, peace out, man. Thanks, uh, thanks, big dude. Salute. Peace.